You want to be a better listener? Here are three tips. The first one, when you are in a large setting where it's hard to hear, lots of moving parts and people like a cocktail party, a conference, I recommend that you place your speaker right in front of you, but behind them is either a door or a curtain or something that's not moving so you don't have visual distractions. Second one is in a virtual meeting, take notes as you are listening. It kind of helps you be a little bit more specific and focused. Now, the only time you don't want to take notes is if the person is sharing something with, with you, something that's emotional or it's sensitive. At that point, you want to share your nonverbals. Finally, the third tip is if you can control for you to be the listener at a time that's best for you, ask for that. So you could be more focused maybe in the beginning of the week and you could be more focused at the middle of the week at a certain time in the day. Ask for that if it works for you so you can be a more attentive listener. I understand listening is not a skill that we learn in school. We learn how to read. We learn how to write. We learn how to speak. I teach some of that, but we don't learn how to listen better. Brenda Bailey Hughes and I have a course called Effective Listening. I'm going to share that in the comments. And we cover a lot of the topics and some drills and skills like these ones where you can share. I, even though I teach this course, I try to be a good listener every single day and practice a little bit of what I preach. I hope you do the same.